It's like Goonies. Um, g'day, guys. These FSI Golfs uh, and the equivalent Audi A3 suffer from what can be a very heavy oil leak from the front of this uh, breather oil cooler oil filter housing. So they leak from this gasket here at, at the rear. Uh, just a note on when you're doing the job, uh, this breather hose uh, will usually will usually be like this. So it's extremely brittle. And also, uh, this hose can crack on some, but not, not often. I had one the other day, someone ruined it, but yeah, that hose doesn't, um, it's very short, so it doesn't really go, but check it out before you do the job. Uh, now, to do the job, uh, it's, it's quite tedious, as in there's a lot of wiring clipped onto here, so you need to lift the car up and down, up and down. And the other point is you need to pull the oil cooler off first. So if you've got really high miles, change the oil cooler. But this particular car, if the Ks are genuine, which I think they are, uh, has 80,000 Ks. So here's the oil cooler over here. And I'm just cleaned it up and I'm reusing it. But on the Audi, on the more modern Audis, that's a problem. So it's up to you whether to change it. But definitely get this hose ahead of time. The car's, you know, 14 years old or 15 years old. Uh, now, the other note was um, you have to remove the oil cooler to get to these bolts. Okay. And just the other note is that there will be uh, in the higher models, uh, uh, higher K models, a lot of carbon. So prepare for that, okay? Also, um, uh, to remove, there's 213 nuts holding this manifold down. Um, also, the EGR pipe you have to release completely, which I'll show you on the car, but there's two nuts holding this down. One, two. Now, for this one, you need a uh, quarter drive long... Um, 10 millimeter socket uh, with a universal adapter on it. Um, also get the dipstick tube, guys, uh, because they're designed to, to completely crumble. Um, but yeah, for that front one, you need a quarter drive universal, which you go down here with from here. And the, what they've done is they've put um, uh, these tabs uh, on this hose. See this? This goes on to where we're talking about, and there's this thing there, and you just cannot get any tools on there. So get your quarter drive set with a universal, uh, or just have a look what you can do with that first, because without getting that bolt out, you can't really do the job. Uh, you can start pulling other things out, but it's not necessary. And regarding this EGR, release the pipe completely. Completely, so from the exhaust area through to the bracket on the head under the Vanos and to here. Also, you'll be losing all your coolant. So uh, breather hose, dipstick, oil cooler, coolant. Um, you, you know, you're going to maybe have a problem with some of the hoses. So, yeah, sort of if you got 220 or 250,000 Ks or 190,000, I'd be getting those parts ahead of time unless you're not in a hurry. But in Australia, we don't have a problem with these types of components because they're so common to change. So, yeah, you're going to have to pull the oil cooler off on the vehicle to get these bolts out. See how the, they've engineered it and the oil cooler will just go just over there like that. Um, anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, obviously, it's for people who know what they're doing already. Um, and, uh, yeah, the rest is elementary. <laughs> okay, guys, bye.